viewers, uh, welcome back. You're watching Community Circle, and I'm your host, Anju Malik. We're going to ask you, Justin, in regards to this, this new research that uh, you guys are doing or intend to do, mm -hmm. uh, tell our viewers a little bit about that. Uh, what is the program? What's the duration of that program? And how people can benefit monetarily with that study as well? Uh, sure. So this study that we're doing currently, uh, it's approximately an eight and a half to nine month long study. The purpose of the study is to look at a new ragweed allergy vaccine. So very similar to a flu vaccine that is given every year to prevent you from getting the flu, this ragweed allergy vaccine is given to prevent you from getting the ragweed allergy. Uh, so the idea and the purpose of this is to eliminate or decrease the symptoms that you would experience in that late fall uh, time frame from August to October. So as I mentioned, it's approximately 18 months now, or sorry, not 18 months, uh, nine months. Okay. And the time frame that you would be involved, so the time commitment would be, a, would be approximately 40 to 50 hours. So okay. that nine month period, you're not coming in every day, you're not even coming in every week. So at the beginning of the study, uh, the way it works is you would come in to be tested for your allergies. After that first period, you would be coming in once every two weeks. Okay. for 16 weeks okay now there is flexibility in that so for example if you started on a wednesday uh, two weeks later you would be able to come in either tuesday afternoon to wednesday afternoon okay so there is flexibility during the week on that and what age group are you focusing the target for this particular study is 18 to 65 okay. both males and females uh, as long as they have the ragweed allergy and they have the symptoms we are looking for Let's tell our viewers that when they participate in this uh, project with you for the next nine months, it's a commitment that people need to do. Sure. Um, how are they getting compensated for this? Okay. So the way the compensation works, uh, the total you can make when you complete the study is $5,000. And that, uh, that is broken down to two partial payments right now. Okay. Okay. So once you complete uh, essentially the first half of the study, you'll be, you'll be given a partial payment and then at the end of the study, you'll be given the rest up to that $5,000. If a subject uh, joins the study and they have to leave for any reason, um, part of the clinical research uh, mandate in Canada is that a subject in a study is allowed to leave at any time for okay. any reason. It okay. is up to them. Um, we are not coercing you. We are not forcing you to participate. Completely your own decision. Uh, if they leave, they will be uh, compensated a prorated amount for the amount of time in the study. So what is that one um, very important message that you want to convey to our viewers who is watching this show today? So I would just like to encourage everybody who feels like they might suffer from allergies to come in to get tested. Or if maybe you know a friend or a family member that might have allergies, do give us a call, do get tested, and we can tell you what you're allergic to. So I'm going to repeat the telephone number again. It's one 989 1808 Our website is www.sneezetoronto.com. So that's sneeze, like when you're sneezing when you have allergies, sneezetoronto.com. Uh, also, if you do register with Inflamax Research and you end up referring somebody who finishes an allergy study, we will be thanking you with a compensation of $100. So there is a $100 referral bonus available. So again, give us a call and we will help you out. At the end, we'll really appreciate your time. Thank you for watching Community Circle on TV1 Canada. I'll be back to you next week with another exciting episode. Till then, Khuda Office.